Hi, welcome to the Jaffa programming tutorial. In um, this tutorial, we're going to again look at arrays. The last one we looked at integer array, and um, I showed that you can have like integer variables, and you could have maybe like 500 of them. Each one would have to be declared independently, and each one would have to be assigned in independently, and each one would have to have a different name. Now you can imagine that you no know, keeping track of them would be difficult in your head. Um typing them out um would be prone to mistakes for maybe typing the wrong name or the wrong number to that name. And then assigning values to them individually is, is quite complicated as well. Right, and so what an array an array is a collection of different values or different types. So if we've got integer, we put all the integers t together in one collection and the group together as one and that's called an array of that type. So what we've got there is an integer array and each one is accessed by the same name. So if you call the array array for numbers, each one, say it's an array of 500, each one is accessed by that name but the square brackets, index brackets you put a number and the number accesses which element in that array you want to access so if you've got 500 elements right, and you want to access four, number 49 element um, then you would take 49, 48 in there actually because an array starts at 0 and it ends one minus the num the number of a array. So if I put if I put fifty elements into an array, I'll have zero to forty nine um, index values. But I've got fifty elements. And it's because it doesn't start at one; it starts at zero. And so when you access them, you always take one away. And so we'll come across that. Um, later on you can see that we've got a for up 0 to 5 so it goes 0 to 4 well if that was 1 to 6 lessons if it was counting 1 to 5 in here we'd have to do minus 1 um, and so it would go from 0 to 4 but we don't have to do that because it started at 0 and it's only going to go to 4 right a string array is the exact same as an integer array only what the type is different it's of type string not integer and so I've created a string array in this class and as you can see it's the exact same I've created, demonstrated five different strings five different values added to a string I've demonstrated you can access them all individually within the index brackets and given them different names I've commented out the last one um, and showed you that you can assign all the values at once and so, and it's separated, because it's string it's not numbers anymore, but it's double quotes with a, a string and it's separated by commas and it's inside braces, the group of code and so, and then I've used a for loop to, to print it to screen and inside the for loop is num, which starts at zero and goes to five and so if I run that program, in fact I've, I've created another um, method new array and if we go to second, you can see that I've created an instance of the fourth class and I've called the new array inside the fourth class plus the new array method inside the, the, the third class. And so I'm going to run the program just to show you, demonstrate what happens. And you can see there's, there's one missing here um, from the number one, two, it's like, one, two, three, four, five elements, YouTube, video, channel, education and program, that's what we put in. If we go back to third, I've changed something here. Why did it only go to um stats of zero, minus five, increment, print out num. Yeah, it's yeah, if not, I'm gonna show you something. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. See how we've only got thirty eight there if I scroll up to the top. It starts at 2, 2, 4, 38. That's silly me. Right, and so you can see I go down to the bottom because it went off the screen. And so 
So that's me demonstrated the string array is the exact same as the, f the for array. Um, but what we can do, there's various things we can do with it. Um, let me think. We can, if we go back to the integer one, we can use how we have assigned DC at all in one. We can assign them in a for loop. If we just use the name array, what's it called? Array. Yep. And equals. No, this is just that like using an integer variable or a string variable. We just use its name we gave it. We don't use the brackets here. But but we're going to use the brackets to sign individuals. And so equals. And what we're going to put inside here is num. So that's going to go 0 to 4. And inside here we're going to put a, a value 7777. Strange number, but there you go. And that's going to, each one of these elements is going to assi be assigned that in the for it. So if we run the program, 777, if we scroll up, you'll see the whole thing. There you go. And let me see what else. Also, we're using the for loop. Um, we're using the for loop um, to access it and we're putting a number in. What if we don't know the size of the array? Then we can use the array name dot length length and what that's going to, it's going to return 5 because that's the length of the array and so if we run the program it's got 5 elements so it's got the length and so what it's going to do instead of us putting 5 in if we didn't know the size of the array but we've got the size so it's a big mass of array and, and sometimes it's big and sometimes it's small and all the rest of it um, but with these ones, you, you, once you set, you, you set it to it. So this will come in useful with other arrays I'm going to show you. And so what I'm going to do is run this program. You'll see it work the exact same way. There you go. It's added seven to every single one of them. And so I didn't have to put five in there. So if this if this array was, let's see. If I add a couple more elements to it, run the program, you can see that it's it still worked even though we increased the number. Now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it's because 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, because we added two extra numbers to it. And let's see. So, so that's a race. And so you can see how useful this is if you don't know the value or you don't want to go and check to see the value, type in length and it will do it for you. So that's us for strings and integer arrays. So again, thank you for your time.